Hey guys, so um, sorry for the lighting. I'm still trying to figure out where to film and all that jazz. So as you guys know from the intro, I'm going to Disneyland today. First part of going to Disneyland is I got my orange on because it's Halloween, Halloween themed. Mm -hmm. Is I'm gonna put some sunscreen on and this is the sunscreen that I use for my face. It's Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch. And I don't wanna put a lot on. The only thing I put on my skin is I took a shower this morning and um, I washed my face with Purity and then I put coconut oil on. I'm just gonna spread this in. Boom. There you go. You've gotta protect your skin. Next, face. Sometimes I just do concealer, but today I have a little bit of problem areas around my chin, so I want a little more fuller coverage. So I'm gonna use BB cream. I don't wanna use foundation because throughout this time of being in the sun, it'll just like wear it off. Um, I'm just gonna put some on my, put some on my Sigma brush. Um, the BB cream I'm using is the Rimmel BB Cream 9-in-1 Skin Perfecting Super Makeup. People. I was planning on doing this and um, Alex was going to bring me Starbucks because we worked out. He goes to the gym. I work out at home and I was waiting because I didn't want to do this. So he was like if he was going to just like walk in but I'm like waiting and my hair like naturally dried because I was going to film me drying it but it naturally dried. That's how long it's been. So I'm gonna try to get my base on before he gets home. Okay, and then I take my Urban Decay foundation brush and I'm just gonna kind of, as I can see now, the color doesn't match me exactly. It's more of my winter color. It's a little lighter than my skin tone, um, but I'll just put all over bronzer on. It's not that big of a deal. I also, I'm one, that um, I don't really like to go glammed up to Disneyland. I sweat, you know, like <laughs> you sweat, you, it's just not my thing. Okay, now I'm using the Sonic Keshik palette, which you get you can get from Target. And this is the um, Hidden Agenda of Seven. And I use color, right? Ooh this mauve dark color for my under circles. I just showed you the powder, this color. <laughs> and all I do is I kind of just get it on there. And yeah, I have eyeliner from yesterday if you're curious. And I just, And then I have trouble areas under here, and because the lighting's not good, you can't really see it. Just good for me. I'm gonna use more of like a pinky based color for that. And boom. Uh -huh. Okay. I don't know why I just did that. What are you gonna do? So the powder that I've been loving is the Real Stay Matte Powder, and my color is in 20 Nude Beige, and this is almost empty. Good thing I have a backup. Actually, you know what? I think today, uh, yeah. The reason I like this color, this powder for summer is because it's a very light powder. Um, once it gets more fall, and it, because it's getting cooler out now, but um, once I'm done with this one, I'm gonna go back to using my Studio Fix because Studio Fix is a lot heavier of a powder and I think it works really well on um, like wintry, Skin. Okay, 
So next what I'm gonna do is, I really, because I'm not gonna do eyeshadow, because I see there's no point, because I'm gonna be sweating my yarn dare dare off. Uh, I'm gonna do my eyebrows, and this means I want my face and my eyebrows and my eyelashes and stuff to be on point. So, looking a little crooked there. Here we go. What I'm gonna use is my, it's my, I think this is cottage cheese, cottage cheese and my X pencil. And all I do is I go under my eyebrow and I just draw my eyebrow basically. And now I look like a scary fool, but that is fine. Now you really want to get um, a clean brush for this part, so, because you want to be able to maintain the whiteness of this. Like so. It just gives you that extra lift, plus I need to keep up my eyebrows and pluck them a little bit more. And I don't feel like doing that right now, so this is a good way to trick people into thinking that you do. So, what are you going to do? So I'm using my NYX eyebrow palette, which I really like. This is the brunette one, and I've used all the gels you can see, but I'm trying to use up all my makeup before I buy any more. So I'm using the lighter color because I still, it's still considered warmer. Well, okay. When I get tanner, I use the lighter color because naturally what would happen is my eyebrows would lighten up. And I'm just using a angled brush. And the way that I do them is at first I just go and I follow through. And I'm going to kind of look like I have like drill sergeant eyebrows. Because that's what happens when you fill your eyebrows in. But I love the whole like natural and beautiful night and try look. <laughs> I think that's the prettiest makeup look because you it looks like you didn't even try and you're just naturally like that. Okay. You can use um, really any kind of a brush. I want to make sure there's not like purple on it or something. Just wiping it off. And you're just going to go in and like fluff that color so that it's not so pigmented. If this makes any sense. So that the lines aren't like heavy. You know? Boom. And to seal in, because I'm doing a long-lasting today look, because I'm doing a long-lasting day look, I like to seal in my eyebrows with Great Lash, just clear mascara. Um, I only do this when it's like an all-day makeup look, so if you're getting ready to go to work or whatever, this is great to seal in your eyebrows. If you're going to be, like if I'm going on date night or something and I'm doing makeup for that, I won't put this on. Unless my eyebrows are being like really unruly. But you don't want to put too much on. You don't want to look like you like plastered your eyebrows to your face. Okay, so next thing that we're going to do is we're going to do the, br the bronzer. The bronzer powder. So the bronzer I've been using all summer, since last spring really, is this Too Faced Chocolate so Chocolate Soule. Tastes, it smells like brownies. It's so good. Okay, so I'm taking a big fluffy brush. I'm gonna do one round all over my face just to like darken my face up. I'm not painting it or anything like schnooky, but I don't really have any BB creams for my summer color. I don't know why. Okay, now I'm taking my Angled Face Brush from MAC. This is part of their, like, Christmas edition. I don't know. 
I'm gonna do my contouring in with the same color. Just get it on there. And I do make the fishy face, so be prepared. And I go on my forehead. And I'm gonna go through with a bigger brush and blend this out. I'm just gonna use my Kabuki brush. And you wanna blend it out. Like so. Ooh. Now, I'm gonna use more of a fall colored. Um, this is T I J I G I. It's called Lovely Glow Blush. Just a really pretty. And it's not heavily pigmented, so kind of put a lot on, kind of sorta. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do for eyeliner is, so I'm just gonna use this one. It's the CoverGirl Liquid Blast it's Black. And I'm gonna create a line, and then I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna smudge it. So I'm going to use my eyeliner angled, another angled brush, and I'm going to go through and kind of just try to kind of clean up the corners. Give me a fluffy one. So I'm just going to like fluff it out. It almost just creates this like there's kind of eyeliner there, there's kind of not. Like I went to prom yesterday, that's what it kind of looks like. You know? But I'm gonna tight line my eyes. Basically it just makes your um, lash line look more prominent. Shabam. I'm using Are They Real by Benefit. It's the best like long lasting Mascara. This mascara, I love it to death, but it's the hardest thing in the entire world to get off. It's redon. And I'm gonna do two coats, let it dry, go back, and maybe do a third. Boom! Can you see those? See those suckers? All right, I'm gonna let this dry and I'm gonna come back and do another cup. Guys, so I, I don't know what I did on my break. I put jeans on is really what I did. Okay, so I'm gonna do one more coat of this magical thing. And, okay. Ooh. Now what to do with lips today. So my hair is going to be halfway down and well, actually I don't really know how my hair is going to be. I might just leave it down. I might not. So I don't want anything super sticky. I'm just looking in my, my drawer of goodness. This one is called Peony. Okay. So I have that on, and I'm just gonna put a little bit of this in my Cupid's bow. Well, in the middle of my lips, really. And this is um, Sephora 06 Fresh Peach, their brand of that. Okay, so now for my hair. I've been trying to stay away from hair ties because they're really bad for your hair, and normally, what I do is while I'm driving to Disneyland, I put my hair up in a clip like you guys saw. I had it the last clip before I, okay, anyways, you guys saw it. It was in my hair. So all I do is I just grab like the crown section of your hair and I do like, and I'll pin it or clip it. And then I kind of ride around like that for a little bit. And then when I'm sick of that, I take it down or put my hair up. So that's me getting ready. I'll do a little after the day once I fully get dressed. So bye guys.